Just quickly, because we're on a roof and it's raining, but I'd like to introduce the new living community wall. 2024, my legendary Patreons have helped me to donate to Elephant World, The Man Who Rescues Dogs, and the Bangkok Community Health Foundation again. Huge thanks to Mikey for being a brand new top tier Patreon. T-shirt's on his way. On Patreon, there's even a free tier. I don't believe in paywalls. Two new videos this week, but first, let's fight some dogs. Bing, think I can walk from Bangkok to Huahin? No! My nerves are absolutely shot. Cute! Oh god! Oh my god, it's like hundreds of them. What a beautiful day, I think. I can't really see it. So I'm not massively sure where I am. I'm not sure uh, how I got here. And uh, well, to be honest, I'm not sure which way I'm going next. Uh, this is dumb. This is really dumb. My name's Walker, and I'm walking hundreds of kilometers outside of Bangkok. Again. And this is why. Remember this moment, it'll become important in Act 2. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, 8 months ago, I embarked on a pretty incredible journey, 130 km walk from Bangkok to the stunning shores of Pattaya. In the months that followed, I've been chasing that feeling, searching for another challenge that could just match that thrill, but nothing quite captured the same essence. So why not do it again, only this time make it much harder. From Tong Lo, Bangkok to Hu Hin in just three days. Now, where were we? <laughs> Great start, Chris. 100 yards already slid over something. 3.15 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, and I am filled with energy, savoring life's beauty, brimming with inspiration, a moment that compels me to just share some words of wisdom. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Quality content, don't forget to subscribe guys, but all jokes aside, I have set myself this challenge to not only walk the route, but to do my very best to give you guys watching at home an experience to feel like you're right here along with me. To be entertained, engaged, and hopefully, who knows, inspired to do whatever it is you want to do in your lives. As you can see, I'm not the only one awake. Plenty of markets, cleaners, taxis. Bangkok truly is a city that never sleeps. Oh, Bangkok truly is a city that only occasionally sleeps. And guess where I am? The Ekamai bus station again. How fitting to be walking past the starting point of the Pattaya walk. Six months later, I've learned nothing. No time for coffee, first to get some kilometers under my elasticated belt. A big high five to the people on Reddit. When you're tired and worn And you feel like you can't BTS is now on, you can see. I'm about one BTS station away from Pac Nam where I hope to get a boat. But first, 7 Eleven coffee. With the sky an absolute magical blue color, I changed my top to disguise myself as a full blown tourist. I headed over to these docks of sorts. It was so nice to see so many people up early. I guess practicing for Olympic ski jumping? Plenty of sporty people around at least. 
and whilst they're all getting stronger, I was feeling a little lost and worried that this could already be the end of the walk until I spotted on the horizon what looked to be a ferry coming in, as indicated here by my ridiculous looking finger. I am never going to get a real job again, am I? Still, that's a tomorrow problem, as for now, I was on my way through this busy street to a market. At the end of this market is the small port which will lead us over the river to a place I've never been before, and possibly the scariest and most intense 8 hours of my entire life. Congratulations, we have found the ferry! Roll on, Act 2. <laughs> For anyone wishing to recreate this route one day, <laughs> lol. Well, okay, just to know where you are, once we hit the shore, I'll be heading south towards the main coast. You know, sooner or later, we all come to the same conclusion. Life is short. I believe we can learn this the easy way, perhaps by being inspired by someone, or the hard way, like losing someone we hold dear. For me, it was the tougher route. I watched my mum's patients wear thin after an epic nine year battle against sickness. The once most patient woman in the world gradually got to the point where even the slightest delay, like a slow person in a queue or a random sales phone call during the middle of the day, could make her explode into a rant of how she didn't have any time to waste on that crap. When you're staring down the bow of your own timeline, every tick of our clock is gold. So why not help others discover this easier route? Impatience is a virtue. Don't wait until Friday night to do something you could do on a Tuesday morning, because you never know for sure if Friday will ever come. Holy crap, I just said something serious. Thank God I had found a lollipop and the balance has been restored. Also great to see that someone else knows as much about fashion as I do. So, here we go then. This really now feels like the walk is just beginning, even though it's been four hours. <laughs> I really hope I get to see some cats. And I did. Ginger ones. Again, are all gingers just abandoned at birth or something? Super sad. However, something super awesome, this guy. Uh, what's your name? Buang. Buang. Okay. Uh, very nice, okay. very nice to meet you. Thank you. He had stopped and took me two kilometers along this road, and as this road that I'm on is about 20 kilometers out of the most direct route, which I am walking purely to make more interesting content, I was happy to take it. And I was equally happy with this. So I've been walking for four hours and I just went into the little market there and there was a choice of a bottle of water or, um, and I just remembered it's 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> As you can see, a very long and pretty uneventful road, it gave me the chance to play with my camera some more and still plenty of smiling, happy faces, if not slightly perplexed as to why a six foot two tattooed covered idiot was walking past them, but at least I couldn't make myself look any worse. The boredom was setting in, the occasional flash of river would hit my eyes, when suddenly I turned round to find this. Absolutely stunning find on this road, a wreckage that I could go inside. In 1973, a US Navy plane ran out of fuel and crashed on these beautiful black beaches of ice. Oh, wrong file. Pretty much the same thing. Heading back down the path and it was time to go off-road. Someone told me if I was walking down this 35 kilometer road to stop at, well, whatever that says. So I did just that. I switched to this fully UV protected top with only my face left exposed. Once again, did my best to entertain myself. If you need a chicken, that's the place to go. You've heard it here first on Walker. And with the sun ever increasingly heating up, it was time for my first of, ah. Oh, many encounters with these dogs. I'd been warned by practically everyone to expect meeting some, but I didn't know just how many I'd eventually end up crossing. So many dogs. They seem cool. More dogs up ahead of me, which gave me time to speak to this lovely person who I asked if I could film. Ah, okay. Cool. Good work. <laughs> I was keen to crack on as I hadn't had a drink of water for a few hours, but with the knowledge of the temple being only a kilometer away, I know I didn't have to stock up. However, that turned out to be a really bad idea. I saw a group of dogs, so I went one way, just to discover that I've just been walking for the last hour back on myself. <laughs> so four kilometers back in the wrong direction. Fuck Life discoveries with Walker. If you're going on a long hike in burning heat and have only drank a coffee and two beers, carry emergency water. Who knew? My lips are really dry. It's actually hard to talk. 
Uh, I need to sit down, but uh, I'm actually slightly worried I'm a bit dehydrated. Dehydrated, dehydrated. But up ahead, I can see the most beautiful number. It's the number seven, and it's paired next to a number 11. Oh, thank you. Coca-Cola on board and three hours of extra walking in the burning sun on an already pretty long walk, and I'd made it to this temple. I took in some sights and then spotted a really cool bridge. You know me, I had to get on it. And then I found myself exploring the homes in the surrounding areas. Really beautiful location, still consisting of smiling, happy people, motorbike delivery drivers, and of course, tons of cats. Have you ever invaded Poland? I'd already spent way too long just to get here, so I headed out in a way I thought was correct, filming yet another super awesome hyperlapse before getting to a dead end and turning around only to see that my path was blocked by two pretty aggressive dogs. Well, it's terrifying. You go down the wrong way, it's a dead end, but I'm then cut off by two dogs. Completely on my own, completely in the middle of nowhere. Whew. I need a chocolate bar, man, and another beer, I think. Jesus Christ. It's a great way of saying I don't want fat people to visit me. At least my dry humor remained intact. All progress I had made on the walk that day had completely gone. My nerves were shot to pieces due to the dogs. A real low point for me. Ah, unbelievable. Someone just stopped and uh, they just stopped next to me and just give me this drink. I tell you, it's cheered me right up. I'm absolutely buzzing now just because of that. The, the how nice are Thai people? We may never know what other people are going through. What may seem like strange behavior could just be someone else having a bad day. That person had stepped out of his daily life to give me a drink. A small token from him had unbeknowingly given me a huge lift to my spirits. And yeah, my sugar levels. One viewpoint left and I was told three times that I would definitely see a dolphin. But at the moment, I couldn't help shake the feeling I was being followed. These people behind me keep shouting at me. What's up, man? How's it going? Good, bro. Hey, you want to ride, man? Oh, yeah, man. That'd be brilliant. Yeah, I don't think so. I am absolutely knackered. You later. Oh, no, no. Was that Bangkok Pat? He's let himself go. Survived another dog attack because someone chased him off with a broom. You can't write this. It is just... Oh, God. It's just dogs all day. Now time to definitely, definitely, definitely see a dolphin at the Red Bridge. Well, been here three minutes, haven't seen a dolphin yet. Not massively sure how this place has uh, 5,000 ratings on Google, but hey. I kind of feel that someone saw a dolphin once 20 years ago and they just put an entire market up around it. It's interesting, the bridge is indeed red. I just walked four kilometers to see that bridge. <laughs> Brilliant. Still in high spirits, despite my ankle now really beginning to hurt, and by this point I'd walked for 14 hours. I was tired, and these dogs were doing their very best to give me a heart attack. Oh my god, I gotta get off this road. Thankfully, these two lovely people came to my rescue and dropped me a couple of kilometers further up. And they'd subscribed to my YouTube channel, Legends! Oh, my ankle is really beginning to hurt now. It's getting progressively worse and worse. Ugh throughout the day so i think i'm about half an hour away from my uh my condo for tonight i can take off my shoe and sock and see what the damage is fun 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 having walked an extra 23 kilometers yesterday just to show off a red bridge and be attacked by dogs Today's plan was to walk along Rama 2 motorway and entertain the absolute heck out of you. However, first, right, okay. So for the one or potentially two women that are gonna watch this, please try to remember how my face looks now and not how it looked when I woke up. <sighs> uh, what? Day two, I hope it's not all motorway. As long as I can see out of one eye. <laughs> And so yeah, no idea what it is. I'm assuming severe sunburn or kidney failure. However, if I let a small thing like how I look stop me from doing something, I'd probably never leave the house. I certainly wouldn't be wearing a Blink-182 shirt whilst I'm narrating. It is what it is and we have a long walk ahead of us. I stopped of course to pack in some sugary goodness for breakfast and then realized that luckily my terrible humor remained intact. 
So I got my online IQ test results back this morning, which was cool. Turns out, negative. I had worried all night that my ankle would be the thing to stop the walk. It seemed a little better by the morning, so I was keen to make some progress. I just got past this roundabout and was treated to waiting at a crossing for 15 minutes. With no bridges in sight, anyone that's ever been to Thailand knows the best way to cross the road is to say a little prayer, close your eyes and, well, just run. Sit. 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 Luckily, in Thailand, it's worth the risk as you're rewarded with beautiful sights. Let your imagination run wild. How did this stuff get here? Then dodge a potentially live power cable and then, I don't know, be chased by a dog. Honestly, there is no better place to hike than along a Thai motorway with perhaps the one exception being everywhere else. But then again, you wouldn't get to meet little cute fluff balls like this. So anyway, oh, oh my God, I just remembered how my face looked. Right, screw it. I'm going to hire a Fiverr freelance video editor to fix this. But uh, I don't want to spend much money. Ugh. You pay peanuts, you get monkeys. All I had to do was put my sunglasses on and now people stop looking at me. I mean, I think they are still looking at the big ginger idiot walking down the motorway, but I definitely feel less self-conscious now. Long-time fans of this channel will know I don't like when YouTubers ask people to subscribe. It sort of annoys me. I've always felt that the quality of content should be enough, so I at least try to come up with a unique way to get the same results such as spending hours editing billboard signs like this. You can imagine just how excited I was when I saw in the distance this giant sign. My head was now filled with ideas on what I could put there, a funny joke, a future thumbnail, but it was only when I was walking up the stairs a better idea had dawned on me. Try and do something, for once, meaningful. So yeah, one of my clients, and now good friends, John Ruthen, he, uh, he owns that channel, so go check it out if you like sea animals. Uh, he's going through a very tough time, and there's no words a ginger idiot like me can say to help him. Just uh, keep breathing in and out, keep putting one foot in front of the other, and you'll get there, buddy. I'm thinking about you, and good luck. Now my eagle-eyed cherry subscribers may have noticed the many YouTube channels that have so far featured on this video. And if you don't fancy leaving a comment, well that's fine, go check out their channels and leave one there. You could really make their day. Some of them really do go the extra mile to entertain or inform you. Not as many miles as I do, but you get the point. Haha, <laughs> right, wow, it's been over 10 minutes without a decent song. DJ, load up Act 4. Bum, ba, 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 bum, 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 bum. to do this a wise man once said if you do something you're passionate about you will never work a day in your life and that's true as no one is hiring morons who make music videos about motorways i really need a job oh thank you cloud you are my seventh favorite cloud of today see you tomorrow wanker oh. With my Airbnb only a 45 minute walk away, some clouds giving me a break from the sun, and I'd finally turned off that long straight road, I didn't think it could get much better than this. This lovely guy called Mo had stopped to give me a lift he was actually working in the Airbnb that I was heading to. Again, another person super friendly just to stop, pick up a stranger, take them just a few kilometers down the road to where they needed to get to. Mo, 
Yes, it is more. Uh, yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chris. Thank you very much. I hope that you have a successful walk. <laughs> if talking. I survive, it's a successful thing. We do. You know me, I don't spend much time showing off the Airbnb, but when the place is this lovely and the owner is this nice, I just had to. My name is Bob. Okay, and you you own all of this beautiful land. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. You like you like my this area? Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, and, I wish I could stay longer. Oh uh, yeah. Next time you confirm, you come here. Okay. <laughs> <Then you> <laughs> Next time I walk to Huahin, I will be I'll be back here. Okay. Yeah. Words cannot describe just how beautiful this area is. But luckily, numbers can. 8 out of 10. Quick check of my feet, an authentic Indian curry, and an early night ready for a 5 a.m. start on the final crazy day. Four and a half hours to edit myself walking past Tom Cruise. Totally worth it. Later than I'd planned, I'd ventured out towards my final destination, 97 km walk from an already booked 7 p.m. coach at Huahin bus station. This isn't as bad, but well, I mean, it's still bad. Uh, it's a 45 minute hike just to get back to the main road. There's a ton of dogs and stuff on this street, so. Uh, terrifying, that's exactly what you need. To wake you up in the morning, screw coffee, just have uh, six dogs bark at you. Luckily, thanks to the kindness of strangers, again, I was picked up without asking again. And what a great way to wake up, see the sunrise over the, I'm assuming, rice fields, and head on back to Ramatu Motorway. Thank you. Sorry, Cab. Life is strange, huh? One second, I'm surrounded by uh, five dogs either side of me barking. And uh, next minute, someone at half past five in the morning pulls over their bike, lets me get on and drives me up to the end of this road again. Can you imagine doing this in the UK? Actually, I've been on walks in the UK. Someone pulled alongside me and just threw a bottle at me. And I've done a walk in Nashville in America. And someone pulled in alongside me and threw an egg at me. In Thailand, they offer you drinks and lifts. I think our countries are getting it wrong, huh? Amazing. Amazing people. Given the state of my toes, I estimated it would take me 19 hours to complete a 12 hour walk, especially with all these dogs in the way. Dude, you got one leg as it is. Come on. Yeah, that's because you're doing stupid things like that. Luckily, because of how friendly everyone is, my plan was to simply accept any and all free lifts offered to me. There is only so much you can film on a motorway. However, it did remind me to mention my absolute favorite YouTube channel. I follow this YouTuber called Bo Miles. It's spelled uh, B-E-A-U. He's Australian, so they give their men women's names. But his content is absolutely fantastic. They're like miniature films. Uh, we're very similar in some way that we both have ginger hair. And we're very different in other ways because his content's like, you know, actually good. For me, as the path turned into a motorway botanical garden that was a lot thicker than it looked, it left me no choice but to run and, well, hope for the best. Oh, uh, okay. Uh. Terrifying moment number 403. Luckily, I'd made it and I was rewarded with a fantastic and yet even scarier option. What is your name? Joe. Joe. Okay, Chris. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. That was so cool. <laughs> I feel the need. The need. For speed! One day in about 20 years, I'm going to look back and be like, Remember that time when I walked from Bangkok to Huahin and I did the whole thing looking like a complete tit? How do you beat going 110 kilometers an hour down a motorway without a helmet? Wear a helmet, kids. To be fair, over the next few hours it consisted of just boring motorways. I was offered a lift by a van, which I won't lie, I took. Paired with the lift from Joe on the bike, I'd skipped roughly 23, 24 kilometers, which looking back now, as six of my toenails have fallen off, I'm kind of glad. 
you can see the struggle here. And so I'd made it with some questionable cheating to Chan and Beach, where things it just did not get any better for me. Broken made whole. Broken made whole. I have a friend back in the UK called Tom. One day he came into the office and started telling everyone about these protein shakes he just got. And you know what? No one cared. Six months later, he transformed his body into that of a Greek god. Don't tell him I said that. And every day, people were coming to his desk to inquire about the powdery drinks he was drinking. Point is, we are inspired by actions and brought on further in life by knowing that the impossible could be indeed possible. Now, I'm not talking about me here. The only thing I can bring on in people is an epileptic fit. I'm of course talking about the Thai people. This walk has had its many ups and downs and yet I've been inspired by how many people have come up to me, offered me drinks, support, lifts and the hundreds of trucks that have beeped me as I've walked past. I feel like I have a lot to learn from this type of amazing culture. Chan Am Beach. 24 kilometers in six hours left just to get my bus and with the sun beating down on me as usual, it was super nice to finally take off my bright green shoes and feel the sand between my toes. Although, uh, yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Three days walking to a beach. I completely forgot that my ankle was cut and my toe is the, got a cherry on it. Oh, well, put the shoes back on. Just like the movie, the beach had started as a dream in paradise, turned into a bloody nightmare. Even though I was in a lot of pain, I was still happy to go out my way to get you guys watching at home, if you're still watching, some absolutely epic shots of me walking down a beach. So I want to say a big thanks to all these people who are here. Uh, if this video ever goes viral and they all get a few extra views or some subscribers, then that'd be great, right? Plus they would owe me, so that's pretty cool. But just know I'd give up my relationship with all of you people so I could be best friends with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am married. Three kilometers to go and three pretty painful injuries were balancing out three of the best 7.30 AMs of my life. After a huge walk and a lot of time to reflect, I've discovered that I have a real passion for creating and sharing content that is human, real, and as authentic as I can be. So let me introduce myself again. My name's not Walker, it's Chris. Pleasure to meet you. Someone asked me, is it worth walking to hear him? Absolutely not. Is it worth going the extra mile to produce just better content? Is it worth going out of your way just for a tiny moment to help someone else? Is it worth pulling over to the side of the road and offering someone a drink or a lift? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. So my name's Chris, and I've just walked from Bangkok to Hua Him. And this was why. 